Hello, this is a Nacy Fix production. All things relating to this video can be found in the video description, so be sure to check there. All inquiries can be sent to nacyfix at hotmail.com. Oh, and by the way, I'm not actually using Vista, it's just a, a skin that makes my XP look like Vista. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching. Hey YouTube, uh, Nacy Fix here. Today I'm going to show you a cool little sort of a feature that you can tweak your firewall with called Open DNS. If you're at all familiar with the legend that is Chris Perillo, you will know that he has made a video about this little service that uh, that these people have set up and uh, it's a rather humorous video where he talks to his father about the features and what uh, OpenDNS itself does. According to the webpage, OpenDNS is at the wrong. There we go. OpenDNS is the world's most intelligent DNS service. Our global network and our software work together symbiotically to offer a set of features custom tailored to you without requiring you to buy any hardware or install any software. I was going to make this video a little while ago, but uh, I'm actually remaking it for a friend because this friend happens to be a very good friend of mine. His name is James, and uh, he has made two cool little web pages that I am uh, involved with. One is called Boomshaw.net. Basically, it's, a, according to him, a snazzy image uploader that uh, is basically like Image Shack, except it looks nicer. And uh, this is the web page, and it's more uh, cool looking. And uh, yeah, and I would appreciate it if you would uh, visit Boomshaw.net. And maybe, you know, from now on, I upload a few images to the web page, you know. It's uh, very easy and uh, it gives you all the same features that Image Shack does, and it's uh, very easy to use. And I've also noticed with Image Shack that when you click upload, it like brings you to a new web page, like an advertisement. Well, Boomshaw doesn't do that, so the web page is boomshaw.net. I'll have a little link in the description and at the bottom of this video, if you get what I mean. Another place is a forum, the tech. Portal.co.uk. I realized just now that I have it open over here, but whatever. Basically, uh, you have a cool forum. It's basically for all things tech, and you can get help on Windows, operating systems, graphics cards, all sorts of stuff. Check it out. I'm on there. I'm an admin, along with James and another good friend of mine named Jake. Uh, so it's thetechportal.co.uk. A link is in the description as well as at the bottom of this video. Anyway, now back to the subject of the video. Okay, today I'm going to discuss, as I said, OpenDNS. Now, I'm not too like familiar with things like OpenDNS, but basically I've got the gist of it since I use it. It protects you against phishing, phishing scams, not like fish, like Chris Perillo said, not like fish as in phishing, like like phishing, P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G, which is basically uh, scammers or whatever trying to lure you into losing your money in real life and things like that. So phishing protection, domain blocking, uh, you want to secure your network and have control over what resolves, we give you that control by providing the tools to block any website or DNS zone on the internet, all through an easy to use interface. Adult site blocking, this is good if you are uh, an adult and you have children on your computer and you don't have any software that allows you to do anything uh, in, to incorporate any adult site blocking. Web proxy blocking prevent people on your network from bypassing the access restrictions you put in place. Blocking web proxies helps ensure your network remains secure. Domain white listing we provide a growing list of web, web content filtering categories to block, but sometimes there's a domain you want to make sure is never blocked, even if it's listing it listed in a feed. Have the final say with our domain white listing feature. Open DNS guide customization typo correction. Uh, I happen to think the typo correction is very useful as I type something like 120 words per minute. I type very fast. Uh, and so sometimes I make mistakes like .og and OpenDNS automatically redirects you to .org Craigslist. And same thing goes for Google dot, dot CMO. And and we can go back to 
the tech portal and we'll get back to the video um so you can have shortcuts and you can have caches and gives you statistics and has good technical support I'm not going to go through all these features instead I'm going to let you check out the website uh, for yourself but that's not where this video is going to end because I'm going to share with you my experience about it because basically I'm just acting like a dictionary here and I'm not actually uh, giving you my personal opinion about OpenDNS <clears throat> so when it comes to OpenDNS I set it up since I uh, I set it up using my computer instead of my router since I have this weird configuration with my router I have like four modems and routers and all these glowing LED lights in my room from all these uh, internet configurations that it's so jazzed up that I have to just use my uh, that I had to use my computer because I can't really access the the router uh, network for some reason but anyway and um, uh, what I notice is that it has good phishing protection I did notice that web pages do lo load faster if you've seen Chris Barillo's video I will include that in the description you will see that uh, he mentions it too and it really does help uh, uh, help web pages load faster, especially if you're using an older PC. That's why I set it up on my mom's computer, and uh, so it does make things faster and has good phishing protection. And I haven't had any problems with it. You know, I used to get error pages from Charter Communication because I think that's my like ISP or something, and and uh, now they're from OpenDNS and typos are more easily corrected. So. I happen to like OpenDNS's service a lot. If you go to the web page after you're done setting it up, it should say that you're using OpenDNS. Thanks. Uh, so that's basically my quick opinion on it. Um, I hope you try out OpenDNS. The link is in the description. Or if you are not feeling so lazy, you can go to just type in OpenDNS.com. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And by the way, check out thetechportal.co.uk and boomshad.net. The links will be in the description. It is much appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.